Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're taking another look at our home organization series. I will be taking you inside my china cabinet. In a few recent videos, several of you have noticed that china cabinet sitting behind me and have made remarks about how lovely you think it is decorated. So I thought it was about time I would give you an up close look. You will notice as we move our way across the screen that the doors of that china cabinet are missing. We are fixing to tear the whole thing apart, sand it down, and give it a facelift. This china cabinet and entire dining room set has been a part of our home now for nearly 18 years, and it has served us well. One of the features that I love about this cabinet is the lighting. When you turn that on at night, look at that soft candlelight glow. It definitely gives the perfect ambiance to this room. Moving across our top shelf, you will notice our beautiful china. This is the Sweet Leilani pattern by Mikasa, which has recently changed its name to Noritake. I absolutely adore this delicate look, and of course, it is trimmed in the silver. We haven't quite finished off that place setting even after 28 years. Moving along the second shelf, you will notice this beautiful antique teapot that sits on top of the heating candle. This is silver and it needs a good polishing. It belonged to my late grandfather and I am blessed to have it. Moving across the middle, you will notice part of the china that belonged to my late mother-in-law. We inherited this after my father-in-law passed away and we are super blessed to have this in our home. You will also notice those candle abras. I simply tied some beautiful turquoise ribbon. And moving on into the final section, you will notice this beautiful crystal biscuit barrel and two little candy dishes. The beautiful way that I have this all designed and set up, when the doors close, the way the frames are on the glass makes each little section look like its own vignette. Moving across the bottom, you will see some more of that china that belonged to my mother-in-law. And you will notice that I also have some more candlesticks sitting in the center. It is fun to accent with different colored ribbons for the different holidays. Moving right along into the first drawer, you will notice that this is where I have my linen napkins. And of course, this is also where I keep our placemats, different colored ones for different seasons. Moving on into the next drawer, you will notice that this is where I have my silver and serving pieces. This beautiful silver is antique as well and obviously needs a good polishing. A dear friend of ours gave that to my husband and I not long after we married. And here are the beautiful stainless steel serving pieces that I love to use when having a dinner party. Moving down into the bottom now, you will see that this is where I have my chargers. It is always fun to change those out with the holidays, and of course I have candlesticks and serving pieces. Moving into the middle section, you will notice all of the votives that I have, as well as the crystal accent plates we use when decorating. Down on the bottom, you will notice my crystal platters as well as a few trays. There's a candy dish hiding under there, a snowman, of course, and some more of those linen napkins. Moving on into the final section, you will notice this beautiful antique punch bowl that belonged to my husband's late grandmother. All of her mugs are stacked inside. And you will also notice our punch bowl that we got when we got married. Our mugs are also inside. I love these acrylic candle rings and of course our oil and vinegar salad carafes. You can see there is plenty of room for storage down in the bottom of this cabinet, which is super nice to have. Here is again another look at this cabinet. I am so blessed to be able to have this and very thankful for all of those precious goodies that we have inside. Remember guys, an organized home is a happy home. Thank you so much for watching.